Fresh off a series win, we get you set for week three of the Campbell baseball season with head coach Justin Hare. I'm Evan Budrovich. Coach, a long, dramatic series, but you find a way to get two big wins, especially on Sunday coming from behind. Talk about the resolve and your ability to win a game to win the series. Yeah, I think the, the big thing for us was just to continue to compete every day and, and you know, didn't get the outcome that we wanted on Friday night. Um, had some opportunities that we didn't cash in, and, and they certainly tried to give it to us. I think we walked 13 times on Friday night and weren't really, uh, you know, didn't really come through in the clutch and uh, challenged the guys Saturday and Sunday to come out and, and be in that competitive mode, competitive mindset uh, more each day, and they were, and, and we were able to come out with a series win. We talk about Saturday and Sunday's win. Your bullpen comes up big for you, getting some shutdown innings late in those ball games. It's been a mix of bodies so far, but what have you thought of their ability to limit runs late in the game? Yeah, well, I don't know. It's a, you know, it was such a long grinding series, and and um, you know, a lot of good things I think uh, from those guys and some of those young guys come in and, and at times look really good, and at times don't look so good. But I think it's been good for us the first seven games to to get them out there more and, and to get them, you know, get their feet wet and get some experience. I think. Um, it's going to pay dividends for us as we get later into the season and those guys have more confidence in their stuff and, and more confidence in their ability. But uh, certainly good to get some of those guys out there and, and, and get them settled in a little bit and hopefully looking for better things as we move forward. Especially on Sunday, some of your power numbers come back, getting some home runs, some extra base hits as well. I know you've been looking for your offense to be consistent. What did you think of Sunday's performance? Again, I think we did a better job of executing in situations where we had runners in scoring position. I think our guys bared down more in the in the box and and uh, put a focus on being more productive and, and not necessarily looking for that three-run home run, not necessarily looking to, to pull off some balls and, and try to hit the ball 700 feet, but really kind of bearing down and, and doing a good job of taking what the pitchers were giving us. And, and when they made a mistake, we tried to make them pay for it. This week, you have a couple extra practice days with no midweek game this week. What's the value of that, of getting the guys out here and getting a lot of reps? Right. First first part of the value is that we get an extra day in the weight room, which I think is, is big for our guys, not only for recovery, but just for maintenance standpoints and continue to build strength here early in the year. But then I think it's it, it's a good por, part for, for three practice days this week to, to get an opportunity to address some of the issues that we've seen in the first seven games, some base running miscues and some defensive miscues that we need to clean up and tighten down and just get a chance to go through some reps on our field and 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 get more comfortable being out here every single day and and having that that level of focus that you need um, to be able to complete a weekend and complete a, a full week it certainly amps up this weekend with ohio state for three games starting on friday a team out of the big 10 that has done well in previous years your thoughts on facing them and hosting a good team here at jim perry stadium yeah so this will be the third straight year um you know that we've hosted a, a team from the power five and so getting ohio state to come down here is really exciting for for me personally being from ohio but but certainly for our guys and, and just to compete against um you know name brand teams you know with a with a national name and, and they went to a regional last year won the big 10 tournament and um, you know they're going to be very talented. And they're going to be play. You know they're going to play very hard, and um, you know it's going to be a good test for us, and 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 be a good uh, kind of watermark game for watermark series, I guess, for us. Uh, trying to judge where we are and where we want to get to in terms of being a regional caliber team, and uh, you know kind of see how we stack up from there. Certainly the excitement all starts Friday night at 6 o'clock and then Saturday and Sunday we'll have coverage all weekend long with video coverage on the Big South Network this weekend so you see it live, not just on this video, but live in person on the Big South Network. Thank you for tuning in this week and we'll see you next time on Campbell Baseball Monday Conversation.